I do buckaroos and happy new year's eve trying to make this my official new year's eve video but i had a little trouble getting her all going <laughs> getting everything balanced man was tricky so doing typical you know me i tried to cover both beer whisper and whiskey whisper i've got the best whiskey that i personally have in the house right now my bushmill 16 year old single malt irish whiskey aged in three woods Paired with possibly the best beer I have in the house at the moment. Oh, damn, I just made something move I didn't want to do. Uh, darn it. <laughs> My prop got in the way there. Thought I'd move that, and I did not. <laughs> and just grab that. Well, I forgot I left it there. There we go. Take two. <laughs> nah, we're just going to keep going, man. <laughs> I believe I did that, man. But that was a little scary. <laughs> I thought I was going to knock the TV down. Uh, wow. So I'm not really in this pub. That's a TV. It's a nice little pub backdrop, though, don't you think? I kind of like it. Uh, Mother's Foggy Notion. It is a barley wine aged in uh, Madeira barrels. Trying to find the ABV on it now. My eyes are not cooperating. 11%. 20 IBUs. Now, the, uh, I believe the original one, the original Foggy Notion, was 10% 44 IBUs, if I remember correctly. They described it as a cross between an American and an English barley one. They still describe it that way, although they've knocked down the, the IBUs a little bit on her. I mean, many American barley wines are, you know, uh, come to uh, IPA IBU territory, and many 70, 80, and 100. Maybe not many, but there are a handful of them. My nose is challenged as we uh, approach the new year here, but uh, I've been fighting a sinus thing, but I hope everybody's doing well. It wasn't going to stop me from having a good beer and some fine whiskey. Oh, yeah. So this is Asian Madeira Barrels. And this whiskey is aged in... Do, 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 do. <laughs> the cast whiskey are... Also, essential. Okay, it says here somewhere. Uh, oh, I'm missing it here, darn it. I believe it's bourbon sherry. I have it said here somewhere, but my eyes aren't focused in. Sometimes it takes those bifocals a minute, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's just get to the whiskey. Doesn't really matter. I love this whiskey. And, and for a 16 year old single malt, it really is priced rather affordably. Uh, it runs between. Uh, I've seen it as low as 72, as high as about 80. I got a discount on it, to be honest with you. Uh, the very first time I bought this, though, was back in 97, and I paid 65 and 97. So that was 20 years ago. So the fact that they want between 72 and 84 now really isn't bad. Especially when you look at the price of other 16 year old single malt whiskeys. Uh, whether they be Irish, Scotch, or whatever. Um, it is one of the most affordable single malts out there, and I really think it compares quality-wise with any, uh, well, you know, with many of, of a much higher price point. Not going to get into a lot of nose with you, because quite frankly, I can't really smell a lot at the moment. We're just going to enjoy, shall we? But after an ounce and a half of this 80 proof whiskey, and, and, and this 11% barley one that ought to set me on my way. Oh, and I thought about starting with a smaller beer, but I thought, no, I want to pair this with something great big. I'm going to have a nice beer with a fine whiskey and just kind of relax. So bear with me, it'll probably be a long video. Watch it, don't watch it. That's really not why I do the videos. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice to see views on there, but that's not why I do it. I don't really do whiskey reviews or beer reviews. They're more of a video diary. You know? I'm just saying stuff. <laughs> oh, this is nice. They did. It. They haven't done this beer in a couple of years because they had trouble procuring the barrels that they like to use. And they finally just bit the bullet and bought some very fine uh, 
Madeira Perils. I can't so weird. Terra and something them. I don't know what she's doing. Anyway, <laughs> a little disturbance in the forest there. Uh, <laughs> this is a darn fun beer, though. It, it's amazing if you like barley wines. I'm a fan of barley wines. I've got friends that say they don't like barley wines. They're a little too sweet for them. Uh, some are. Some some English barley wines especially tend to be a little sweeter. Um, this one certainly has some sweetness, but I wouldn't call it sweet by any stretch. I mean, you do feel some of those uh, notes from the Madeira barrels. I mean, I certainly feel some some fruit notes. Kind of great plum going on. Like candy date, almost like a like a fruit cake thing going. You know what I'm saying? Some dried candy fruits, a little bready. That's how I'm feeling it anyway. We set that down. Let's go back to the whiskey. Because that's how the beer whisper, the whiskey whisper rolls, man. <laughs> I like to, I've always liked to drink that way, kind of go back and forth between the beer and the whiskey, especially when I've got it neat. I'm not worried about it sitting too long if I've got it on the rocks and I can try to go ahead and drink her down. But I'd rather have an ounce and a half and drink, you know, drink leisurely than do a shot. A lot of folks like to do shots. I've never been one that likes to do shots. Of course, I never have. I certainly had that period of time. Uh, and I've even done them on occasion, uh, but for the most part, I don't, uh, because the only purpose of a shot is to get drunk quicker. I don't need to get drunk quicker. I like to kind of relax, and work my way to that destination, you know. <laughs> I'm not trying to get there right away. I like to stop and look, you know. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a drunken tourist. I just want to stop and look at everything. I don't want to get to that destination right away. I want to see everything. I want to see the largest ball of twine. <laughs> uh, the hamburger statue. You know, I want to see all that stuff. Oh, been an interesting year for us. Uh, sometimes interesting good, sometimes interesting bad. But, you know, you take whatever happens and you just move forward because that's all you can do. I've said this before. Some people take the things that have happened to them and use, them, use it as an excuse to be bitter and mean. They say, well, I have a reason. That's why I'm bitter and mean. No, that's not a reason. That's your excuse. And there's a difference. And the, the point is that everybody has a reason. Or everybody has an excuse, but nobody has a reason. If you knew all the stuff that I've been through, you think, man, well, how are you not a bitter old man? <laughs> but, you know, you find a way to move forward. You don't move on. You don't get past it. You don't get over it. You just go forward. Ugh. People that act like assholes want to act like they have an excuse. Well, I'm an asshole because this happened to me. No, you're an asshole because you're an asshole. <laughs> you let what something happen to you and you use it as an excuse to be a certain way. You don't have to be that way. You could have chose to be a different person, but you chose not to. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's beer whisper, whiskey whisper philosophy. How about that? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I've been around. <laughs> I've been here and there. I've seen some things. <laughs> I'm street smart. <laughs> Sesame Street smart. <laughs> this episode brought to you by the letters F and U. <laughs> and the number is 69. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> Sesame Street smart. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, shit a brick. Uh, I'm not going to drink this entire beer o over a uh, video because I've already gone on about uh, 10 minutes, but we're going to finish this whiskey now. So, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everything's been treating you well. Uh, we all have ups and downs and bad shit happens and you just have to find a way to just go, you know, just keep going. That's all you can do. Because the alternative is not pleasant. <laughs> mm -hmm.
quite frankly, whichever direction I end up, I'm not sure that there's going to be beer whiskey in either place. So <laughs> I want to rest, stay here as long as possible. <laughs> Of course, I don't want to go anywhere that doesn't have single malt Irish whiskey. <laughs> uh, and if heaven's going to let in people like Pat Robertson, I'd just soon say go somewhere else. Anyways, I digress. It's trying real hard not to get political, but sometimes it's tough. <laughs> You gotta call out assholes when they're being assholes, I say. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I've been using that line in my video since I started doing it back in 2011. And I've recently seen some some younger, let's just say, <laughs> uh, so-called beer reviewers uh, use my lines. I digress a lot. I was the first, man. <laughs> People are stealing my shtick. <laughs> Hey, if you just say one thing, it might be a coincidence, but then I'm starting to hear some of my lines in, in some of these videos over and over again. Okay, they're saying three or four things that I say all the time, and then they're doing it. Okay, don't tell me you're not stealing my shtick. I mean, you know, I don't have a copyright or anything, but, you know, at least you can give me some props, you know. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. That's an ounce and a half of some Bushmills single malt Irish whiskey. By golly, it's beautiful. I'm going to take another drink of this beer before I shut this video down and say one last time, just for shits and grins. Happy New Year, y'all. I am. I am. How are you? I am going to be a whisperer. I drink beer. I drink that. <laughs> the mother's on that side. Foggy notions. I've got the proper glass for the beer. And now I don't just have the right brewery. I got the exact glass to go with the beer, man. <laughs> that makes my OCD really happy. <laughs> when I can do shit like that, man. Uh, beer Vanchel is prolific beer drinker. Purveyor of wisdom all around. Good guy. Wow, man. 